I'm aware that I look absolutely ridiculous right now, but trust me, the uh, glasses and the mask are imperative. I just realized that I'm also wearing a reflective vest and a GoPro. So I must look amazing to the people here. They're like, who the hell is this guy? What's his deal? Anyway, let's go racing. Hello, and welcome to my humble abode, my very dirty office that I am sitting on the floor of right now, packing my equipment for tonight's race at Oshweken. Now this is a local race for me, so that's why I can start this vlog at home. So it's just a one day thing, get to drive out, shoot some B-roll for the TSN broadcast of the NASCAR Pinty Series race. If you're not familiar with these races, they tend to air on tape delay. So I'm here shooting uh, high quality slow motion stuff for the broadcast and also the end of year like recap video they do is this really nice hour and a half production and it's, they use a lot of the shots for that. And then also they use my footage in a lot of promos for the NASCAR Pinty series, for Pinty's products. If you're not familiar with Pinty's, it's a brand of premium frozen chicken in Canada and they sponsor the NASCAR series here. So it's the NASCAR Pinty's series. So I'm just gonna get all my stuff packed up today. I'm still in like my, you know, how I dress when I'm at home, my, you know, workout shorts and very casual and I'll get dressed and everything and head off to Oshweekin. It's been an hour drive, call time's four o'clock, so I'll probably leave here around 2.30 just to be safe. And yeah, I'm really excited to shoot uh, the NASCAR Pinty Series on dirt tonight. That's the interesting thing about this race in Oshweekin is the race is on dirt. I shot this race last year and it was an absolute blast. That was the first time they did it. This year, they've done two races. They did one on Monday and we were supposed to go yesterday, but it rained all day and we couldn't, so they moved the race to today. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. We'll get all packed up and we'll head out. A few moments later. All packed up and ready to go. I meant to do a uh, like a time lapse of me packing, but uh, Joel just texted me and asked if I could come a little bit earlier, make sure I'm there by 3.30. So I just um, axed that. And yeah, car's all packed. Gonna head out to Oshweekin. So just rolled into Oshweekin here. My credential is acquired. Now my credential is a wristband. Classic local short track style. No fancy credentials. It's a yellow wristband. I threw my TSN hat on, which is like the name of the broadcaster, because uh, I always like to wear it when I'm like going through security and stuff. So like, hi, I'm with TSN. They have to see the hat and then it seems pretty legit. So you don't have any trouble. So just gonna head inside and park uh, next to the uh, blue building in the paddock. All right, so we're all set up here. We have a little room in there to work, which is fantastic. It's air conditioned, got the camera built out. Uh, I do uh, make a quick, quick uh, wardrobe change to a TSN shirt because I was just told it'll be a lot easier for me walking around if I'm wearing uh, a TSN shirt. I won't get hassled or bothered at all. So got that on and uh, we'll go to the paddock and get some shots. We have a lot of time. It is 20 after 4 p.m. and the race is at 9.30. So I have five hours to get shots in the paddock. They've already done qualifying and practice and all that. So it's gonna be a long day, but it gives me lots of time. Time to get awesome footage. I have those same glasses and I'm very glad I didn't wear them. I wore these ones instead. <laughs> I, I just got them this week. It's the, it's the, yeah, the, 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 the blue ones, the, the Mick and Keith's Keith, Midnight yeah. Ramble. I just bought those like last week and I just dropped the, them. Uh, yeah. Hello, how are you? Hi, my name is Jody. Signed a clearance form for the Friday Night Thunder TV show. No, I haven't. No. Okay, so yeah, we're filming the Friday of Thunder on okay, yeah, TV. Yeah. Gotcha. And chances are you'll be caught on camera. Sure. It's just a release. Yeah, no, no problem. Drill, obviously. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> I'll give you that. I can hold it for you. Perfect. Just a signature in your name. So I had to sign a release form for a TV show. That's pretty cool. Uh, one other thing I forgot to mention is so we're shooting for television. I'm in 30 frames a second um, structure on my camera here. So things will look a little bit smoother. Uh, they won't quite have the film look, they'll have more of that TV look, which is still good, but 
It's not like 24 like I usually shoot, so it does look different. Okay guys, I got the special announcement. All right, so I'm at the driver's meeting. We've done a few shots, switched some gear over. I got a 50 millimeter on the camera now to get some shots with. I've also donned the old traffic vest. They don't do like proper photo vests here. We just gotta wear like a, a reflective vest of some kind so they can see you track side. So I have that on. I've also got a neck buff on, which I'll pull up to uh, protect my face while I'm shooting. And then I've got the, uh, safety glasses as well because um, with dirt racing the dirt goes flying everywhere and can get in your eyes and it's not great so you always want to have your safety glasses and some sort of mask to cover your face or else you're gonna have a bad time So we just finished up practice one. That was pretty cool. The light is pretty amazing right now. Nice hanging low in the sky. Got some awesome low light shots that I'm really happy with. Uh, unfortunately, I was supposed to be here shooting slow motion and uh, rookie mistake, I didn't realize that I was shooting regular speed uh, for like the first hour I was here. So yeah, again, not a very good slow-mo guy, but hey, we all make mistakes, which is a great tip. Um, Make sure you double check all of your camera settings. Now don't just assume that you're in the right settings. <sighs> but other than that, practice was fine. So I did get all the slow-mo I needed to get. Uh, the neck buff turned out. I tried pouring my own puddle there for a reflection and then everything just went to hell as soon as they rolled off with all the dust. But it's been good so far. It's nice to shoot dirt a couple times a year. It's not something I'd want to do all the time, but definitely, uh, Definitely need to get covers for your cameras if you're gonna do this all the time because they get very dirty and very dusty. But uh, it's cool to do it a couple times a year to just kind of break things up, you know? Variety is great. Doing all kinds of different stuff is always fun. So I'll head in, we'll get uh, things swapped over. I'll grab my radio and we'll time for qualifying soon. Okay. Guys, just hang back in the pits like during the break. Mark, I know you shoot from the outside, but make sure you get in there quick for the guy to get out of the car, okay? Yeah. If you can, you can probably go through the start finish gate with the faster. Yeah, I'll just jump under. We'll be fine. So, back out, we have qualifying coming up. The way they do qualifying here is just like most dirt racing, they're going to do heat races with the NASCAR 50s cars rather than doing like a single car qualifying. So it'll be a little more interesting. Fans will get to watch a little bit more racing and the sun is unreal right now. So I've been doing a lot of backlit stuff. And a pro tip, when you're shooting uh, backlit stuff like this, what I always try to do is I'll actually underexpose the subject a little bit to try and keep some information in the highlights where the sun is and adding a circular polarizer, like I have on my camera here, can really help with retaining some of that you know, sky in the background rather than having it you know, just look blown out. You can actually turn that polarizer and take some of the glare off and it really helps with those backlit shots. So the evening has flown by. There's been a bit of a break between uh, qualifying heats and the Pinty Series race. Right now there is uh, some wing sprint cars on the track right now doing their feature race. And then it'll be pre-race for Pinty. So, so one thing that's really cool about doing these races is I get to work with some amazing guys that shoot sports. And as much as they don't do what I do, they're not making content really, they're doing broadcast. These are guys that go all around, they're freelancers, they shoot all different types of sports. If you talk to guys here, they've shot racing in different eras, they've shot you know, football, basketball, hockey, 
horse racing, swimming, all kinds of different sports. And they need to be ready basically any time to go out and shoot any sport. A lot of them have done the Olympics where every day you're shooting something different that you've never done before. So it's really cool to get to work with a bunch of these guys and girls that have been doing this for their entire career and are just seasoned pros that can just pick up a camera and go. And it's really something to aspire to. Like, that's how I like to think of myself, that I can just pick up my camera and go and shoot any sport and be successful. But it takes a lot of practice and a lot of hard work. Oh, fireworks. All right, it's pre-race time. Let's get it done. I'm aware that I look absolutely ridiculous right now, but trust me, the uh, glasses and the mask are imperative. <laughs> you shoot a dirt race without them, you are going to have a bad time, like I said earlier. So I forgot mine last year and I paid the price. I'm very glad that I wore them uh, today. So uh, yeah, here we are. Out in turn three and four, it should be an awesome race. I'm looking forward to it. The cars aren't super fast on this circuit. You know, they're not really designed to go dirt racing, but it's cool that they do it once a year and that I get to come and do this. And it's local, it's an hour from where I live. So it's awesome. I'm just glad to be out here once again. Like, I feel like so much of my like chatter in these videos is me being like, so happy to be out here. But like, honestly, I am. I'm absolutely stoked. I just realized that I'm also wearing a reflective vest and a GoPro. So I must look amazing to the people here. They're like, who the hell is this guy? What's his deal? But yeah, so anyway, let's go racing. Uh, some guy just came up to me and said, you probably want to move because uh, we're going to set off a whole bunch of fireworks right behind where you're standing. Looks like you could start a uh, small conflict with that. So I'm going to head over this way to the exit of turn four. <laughs> I have to shoot the entire uh, outside. So uh, we have another shooter, Andreas, he's on the inside. I did the inside last year, so we swapped. The inside um, wasn't super fun, uh, but they did use a lot of the footage that I got from in there. It's just a lot of wider shooting. The outside, you can be a little bit more artistic. There's kind of like some stuff here on the side you can shoot through and do different things. So uh, I'm glad to be on the outside this time, but uh, the inside's all right, it's not too bad. The thing about these tracks though, is you say, well, why does one have to be on the inside and one on the outside? Well, the way these circuits work, um, there's no tunnel or anything. So if you're going to the inside, you have to stay on the inside until the race is over, right? A lot of small short tracks are like that, especially these dirt tracks. So you gotta pick inside or outside, right? So I've chosen outside. I think I made the right decision. Go green flag race. 
racing here in a couple laps, so I will go uh, head back over there and start shooting. Another yellow uh, was just a quick spin, but he got it going again. Uh, so this is actually the pit lane here at Oshawa Speedway for this race. Um, it's outside the track because there's no pits in the infield because there aren't really pit stops in dirt racing. But here, you can pit uh, under cautions and uh, you don't lose any laps or anything because the laps don't count. But uh, you get a certain amount of time to work on your car and you can rejoin the tail end of the field. So also you can pit under the stage brakes that they have, same kind of thing. So there's a, there's a like a checkered flag flies at 25 laps and 50 laps. They do like a little break and then uh, the race will end after 100 laps. So it's kind of cool. They do it all outside the track here because there's no, uh, there's no pit lane inside. So it's also, also uh, really nicely uh, lit. So next time there's a caution, I'm gonna run over here and see if I can get some, uh, some nice shots of the guys. Uh, back to the room. We're just going to get packed up now, honestly, and that's pretty much the end of the night. Just going to uh, transfer my footage when I get home, cut it up in the morning, and send it say over. Say goodnight! Hi, Joel. Say hi to everybody. That's Joel. He runs everything. So, it's been fun. Let's go pack it up. Right. That is the NASCAR Pinty Series from Oshweekin. I'm sorry for all this noise in the image. It's very dark out here in the middle of nowhere where I parked my car, but it was a lot of fun today getting to shoot NASCAR on dirt. Just something different, something I've done now two years in a row, and I really enjoyed it. So again, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the vlog, please like, share, subscribe. The whole thing really helps a lot. Leaving comments really helps. And speaking of comments, if you have any questions or anything you want to know about racing videography or questions you have for me just about things that are involved in my job, whatever it is, just leave that in the comments below. And I love hearing from everybody and I'll do my best to answer those questions for you. Let me know if there's any specific events you'd love to see me do vlogs for or any content you'd like to see me do. And I'll do my best to get to that for you. But again, thanks so much for watching. It's really cool that people take the time to you know, take an interest in what I do for a living. And it is a really cool job and I love doing it and I love being able to share it with everybody. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. I changed into shorts and flip-flops to drive home because comfort always wins. And yes, they're the Kirkland flip-flops because Costco is king. <laughs>